Hi, I'm Jane. I'm from SES and I'm here to read you a book called Pearl in a Well, How One Fluffy Cat Braved the Floods. On Monday, Pearl did all her favourite things, swatting and slurping, hiding and sleeping. That night, Pearl was asleep all comfy and warm when... Crash! The house was hit by a storm. It banged, it smashed, it whooshed and whirled. This storm was too rowdy, too windy, too wild. Pearl leapt from her bed and raced off to hide. Stop this racket, Pearl yowled, but no one could hear her. The water outside rose higher and higher. By Tuesday morning, the whole house was flooded. The water swept in. It was all oozy and muddy. Pearl, yelled her family. We have to leave, quick. Pearl, they all cried as they packed up their bags. Pearl, they all cried as they picked up the dog. Pearl, we have to go now. It's too risky to stay. We're sorry. Be safe. And they hurried away. Pearl wailed, I'm here. But it was too late. That whole afternoon, Pearl was stuck on her shelf. There were no bags to hide in, no dog to swat, no comfy warm bed, no taps to slurp. She patted the water, but that was no fun. She felt sad, scared and lonely. Where was everyone? Pearl yelled her loudest, Will someone please save me? But all she could hear was the wind and the rain. By Wednesday morning, the storm finally passed. The flooding seeped out, leaving sticky, dark mud. Pearl heard a knock, then a big thumping noise. The door was shoved open. Hello? came a voice. It was the neighbours who'd been sent to find her. Pearl leapt down from her spot and meowed, I'm here. Pearl, they cried. We're glad you're okay. Climb into here. We'll keep you safe. Over at the neighbours, Pearl felt a lot better. She swatted and hid and slept on their bed. But the land all around got wetter and wetter. We'll have to be rescued, the neighbours said. Early on Thursday, a chopper came down. It landed carefully on the soft, soggy ground. The rotor blade spun in a deafening whirl. Who's this? said the pilot. Well, hello there, Pearl. Away they all flew from the mud and the water. On the ground, they were met by a crowd of reporters. Pearl, they all cried. How do you feel? Pearl meowed her answer as loud as she could. Everyone nodded. They all understood. Pearl missed her family, the kids, mum and dad. Bags she could hide in and taps she could slurp. She even missed Decker, the silly small dog. And she just couldn't wait to curl up on her bed. On Friday, Pearl's family phoned her to say, we found you a home for the next few days. It's a place just for cats, though they do have one dog. We'll visit you soon, said her family. Be good. Pearl promised them she'd do the best that she could. On Saturday morning, Pearl's family came. They took turns to hug her, the kids, mum and dad. Take a look at our house. It's surrounded by onions. We can never go back. It's completely in ruins. We're safe, that's the main thing, said Pearl's mum and dad. Pearl was so pleased to see them. She couldn't stop purring. On Sunday, 
Chappelle did all her favourite things. Swatting and slurping, hiding and sleeping. It wasn't their old house, but that was okay. They were all home together, and together they'd stay. We've had some floods in WA and across our state, and it can be a pretty scary thing to have to do and get through. We here at SES were always ready to come and help you whenever you're in need. Thank you.